Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey YouTube channel where we are moving forward in life and in faith. If you are new here, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today family, I wanted to talk to you in regards to you have your staff, you're not going back empty handed, okay? And so we're, at a, we're in a time where things are completing. You're no longer in the wilderness and you're going to be taking your rightful position. You're going to another level on purpose. You're going to another level as to what God is calling you to do. And for some of you, that is going to require you to go back to a place that you once left. To go back to a place where you once left because God is calling you to help, to help people, okay? And so you have to go where you're, where you're called and where God is calling you to go. And so he brought up the story, The Lion King. And I mentioned The Lion King in a previous video before. Uh, and I was talking about, this, this was like a year or two ago, and I, and I think it was called Full Circle. Um, I'm gonna link it because this is definitely a second part of that video. And this time we're talking about how Simba left his hometown, right? He was filled with guilt, he was filled with shame. He left and he was in the wilderness. And he had to, I'm sorry guys, if you guys hear like a lot of noise, they're cutting down trees and it can be a little bit of a distraction, but don't let it distract you because it's certainly distracting me. <laughs> Um, but back to the story. He, he left Pride Rock, his hometown, and he goes through this wilderness and he had to find himself. He had to heal and then he had to remember who he was, right? And then he had to go back and take his rightful position. So a lot of you are at this point where you, your wilderness is over. You know who you are, you know what you are here to do, your training is over, and now it's time to go back and take your rightful position. And sometimes we can be hesitant of going back to a place that we once left because it can feel as though we're going backwards because physically we're going back. But God is saying, you're not going back empty handed. You're going back with purpose. There's a reason why he's calling you. There are, there are certain things that are set up for you that is a part of your purpose and calling that is there, okay? Some of you are gonna go back and discover opportunities, relationships that weren't there, but now is the time for those things to unfold. And so he brought me to scripture, Exodus 4, 18 through 20. And this is Moses returns to Egypt. So Moses is a Bible character, which I've talked about previously on this channel, where he was an Israelite who was raised as an Egyptian and he commits a murder and he leaves, okay? And so he's kind of like in this wilderness and he's just chilling, he gets married, he's tending to sheep, and life is kind of easy breezy, okay? And then God shows up and says, I need you to go back. I need you to go back, and I need you to save your people. I need you to go back and see who is left, because there are people that need to be saved, and I'm sending you as my servant to set these people free. And Moses is like, okay, so what if they don't listen? And God says, you will have this staff. 
you will have this staff as a sign that I am with you. And God is telling someone today that you are not going back empty handed. There are things that have been built, character, ideas, the foundation that has been laid. And he, you have the staff. The spirit of God is upon you. So things are not going to be the same as they once were years ago when you return this time. Okay. And so Exodus 4, 18 through 20, it reads, Then Moses went back to Jethro, his father-in-law, and said to him, Let me return to my own people in Egypt to see if any of them are still alive. Jethro said, go, and I wish you well. Now the Lord has said to Moses and Midian, go back to Egypt, for all those who wanted to kill you are dead. So Moses took his wife and sons, put them on a donkey, and started back to Egypt, and he took the staff of God in his hand. Okay, and so he tells his father-in-law, I'm leaving. I have to return to my own people in Egypt to see if any of them are still alive. You have to return to your people to see if any of them are woke. To see if any of them have found God. To see if any of them have been going through their own, own journey and are ready to, to live a life of righteousness. You have to return because you have, this, this was part of Moses assignment his calling this was the whole point of the whole his whole life <laughs> was to go back and to save his people that's why he was raised as an egyptian but really a, a hebrew israelite so he can be able to see what's going on and a lot of you everything is adding up like oh this is why i was raised this way and had to experience this so you could see both sides of what's going on so when god sends you back you know exactly what to say you know exactly how to deal with them you know exactly who they are now the lord said to moses and midian go back to egypt for all those who wanted to kill you are dead all of your enemies, all of the people who talked down upon you, who called you out of your name, your enemies are dead. You don't have any enemies. And that's the thing about obedience as a child of God. God will handle your enemies. Because when the time is right and you have to go back and, and pursue and operate out of your calling, what he's calling you to do to save his people, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. There's a scripture that says your enemies, your enemies will not harm you. Your enemies, your enemies will be at peace with you. Proverbs 16, 7. Proverbs, here it is, Proverbs 16, 7. When the Lord takes pleasure in anyone's way, he causes their enemies to make peace with them. Okay? So, God's like, you don't have any enemies. That's all taken care of. Go back. Go back and save my people. I've heard their cries. Okay? Moses took his son, his wife, put them on a donkey and started back to Egypt. And he took the staff of God in his hand. And he took this, God has said, I have given you a staff. It may not be a physical staff, but during your wilderness season, during your training, your developing, I have developed you and put ideologies and, and showed you who I was so that people will know that the spirit of God is with you. You're the real deal. Because Moses is like, are they gonna listen to me? Like, God said, yes, take this staff as a sign. So God is saying, you have your staff, you have everything you need. 
Some of you and your assignment is going to cause you to go back to a place that you once left. But God is saying, do not be afraid. You are not going backwards. This is a part of your assignment. Doors will be open. Things that certain areas of your life that have been closed off because you've been working on yourself, those doors are going to open once you're in position, okay? Because this is another level. This is another part of your assignment. This is like the main, this is like the dinner. So a lot of you were experiencing appetizers. So now you're, go you're going to get the main course of the assignment of what God is calling you to do, okay? And so you're not going back empty-handed. God said you have your staff. I am with you and he has called you to set some people free. This portion of the video is sponsored by Zigu. And Zigu is a woman's online boutique and I literally fell in love with them. So you know I had to put you ladies on. And fellas, if you're looking for some quality, modest clothing for your woman, check them out, okay? Because you know, as a woman of God who's just trying to live righteous, and and wants to look modest sometimes it can be very very hard to find clothing that is modest you know not revealing too much but still like fashionable and still you feel confident and at the same time and so i found this website this woman's boutique called zigu zigu.com okay they have modest, fashionable women's clothing for affordable prices, y'all. And super cute stuff. Very um, trendy, like luxury, like I'm a woman. Very feminine, okay? And so, and that's something I've been working on too, that God has been working, been working with me with just, you know, really embracing my biblical femininity you know, wearing dresses, being modest, and, you know, it can be tricky in the world today finding those kind of pieces, but zigu.com is Z-E-A-G-O-O.com. So check them out. If you use code Jordan's Journey 30, you are going to receive money off your order. I'm actually wearing a shirt <coughs> from them right now that I ordered. Um, it's just a tan. It has like a little rouge, like a little rouge right here. And it's just super cute. It's comfortable. It's long sleeve. Um, it has like a little V-neck, but it's not showing too much V. You know, it's not like a capital V. Okay. But um, check them out. Jordan's Journey 30 for money off your order. And then come back. Let me know in the comments what you got if you like them. Um, they're very affordable, y'all, so check them out. Modest Woman Clothing, okay? Zigu.com, and let me know what you guys think. All right. If you need additional resources to help you grow in life and in faith, make sure you check the description box below or visit us on the web at jordansjourneycoaching.com. We have a lot of new things coming, okay? I'm revamping the Journey Academy. I'm adding some products um to the journey academy uh which i'm very excited about i'm not going to talk too much about but be on the lookout god loves you so much and so do i bye